hear and hit audio. Whoa! Oh. Everybody in this team, hate, this league hates Tree. I swear. Like, I haven't seen him go through once. I've never lost to a Tree in this league. Oh, wait, no, so I don't know why they keep banning him. Yeah. What about you? Oops! <laughs> making rice. His mom's still picking him up from daycare. That's what's going on. It's funny because I haven't seen anybody in the league actually pick bat. Outside uh, of us. We've played bat, yeah. Yeah. Once. <laughs> but, um. Go with the PL, Ben. Yeah, he's really kind of dropped out of favor as we move forward to 6.78. I think people I just learned how to play against him. Yeah. Still got that Wisp CK in the pool. Oh, that's a weird first pick, yeah. Yeah, the only thing- what? Dazzle. Well... Magnus looks like they're going aggressive. Of Dazzle. Hmm. If Dazzle goes slow first, then Nakes can catch up with the nerf to open wounds. Then. Yeah, Shadow Demon basically builds Dazzle a bomb though with his disruption illusions. See idea? Yeah, pretty much. But the one thing I can say about this Jakiro pick is it says nothing at all about what Doesn't Ward wants to do. Well, probably gonna be a trialing. Well, yeah, it just it just says they have a support. Great. I don't know, he still provides that long-range initiation, useful for setting up. <laughs> That's true. Oh man. Storm. They're just worried about those snakes bombs. Banning that storm out there. Probably not. I'm gonna I see some like quad picked up. I'd say it's more just out of fear of what the life stealer could do with it. The life stealer next bomb, a dangerous combo to be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an OD. What? No punch pack. I think I've seen Pudge played once, apart from me, in an in house, mm. and he didn't do good. So just the TA ban doesn't even make sense to me because like Gyro does well against her. <laughs> like I think. Uh... And there's yeah. the shadow demon you talked about with the tassel. I will be taking my leave for now, though. Have a good day, gentlemen. <laughs> See ya, Fudge. Hold it. Dying 
They have so much team fight on their team. Well, OD wins against Squap mid easily, as you guys saw in our game today. Mm -hmm. She had like five last hits in the first ten minutes or something against me. She couldn't do anything. It's it's a really tough lane for a Quap. Especially without like a tree there to help mm -hmm. her. She's gonna be hurting. Proging. <laughs> Some Mago. Yeah, they're they're looking for now. Off... Both teams are looking for off laners here. Hmm. Dark Seer Never... still hasn't been picked or so or banned. It's terrifying. <sighs> yeah, like if they get the whole team caught and say a warlock ult, and they can follow up with like a gyro Jakiro outworld, they're dead. And they actually banned the darks here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dazzle's the weird part. Yeah. Like, Shadow Demon, he's just a constant. Even though we haven't really run him at all. But he is pretty fantastic all around. Radiant has a lot of team fight right now with the call down and the golem and the outworld mm -hmm. on top of and there's their yeah. long range initiation <laughs> on top of the macropire and then there's the cogs to hold them in the macropire and ults etc He really needs that branch, guys. Is this an offlane clop in a mid lone druid? Yeah, they, I guess they realize they realize that clop can't do anything against OD, so mm -hmm. they put the druid there because he doesn't need mana. He's still gonna have tough time last hitting, but still gonna be better than a clop. Yeah, because she's going to have a really hard time CSing bot with these two supports harassing her. They should be able to zone her pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're pinging her out. They want to get her out of the lane. No, I doubt what. Thanks. Did I not get one? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> it's 
I'll check that out after game. Uh, no, I'm gonna check it now. I'm greedy. Nice. A lich item. Oh yeah. This clock has... Hmm. Yeah, if he didn't... Yeah, they don't know though. Like, they're assuming he's just gonna cox away. Though they do well, have Well, he's used down. rocket, so I'm sure they've seen him shoot it. Mm. That word, yeah, it does. It's, it looks like they cut a tree to do Here it. Here over top? Yeah. Yeah, that blocks it. It's not gonna stack right now. Right okay. Does. It's just some harass. <laughs> some trading on. Getting this, out of lane. This queen your is getting more last hits. a lot more than the clock, though. The clock's still level one. Like I said, this clock has to be very careful. Disruption set up slow. It doesn't matter if he cogs. They'll have him there the whole time. Yeah, they, they should really engage on him, but I guess they were just focused on yeah. not letting him get levels. That's surprising. Yeah, I really think... I'll be honest, I'm not really expecting too much action out of any of these lanes until we start seeing supports rotating. It's basically... Yeah, it's basically on clock or quap to put themselves in a terrible position to actually... <laughs> oh, you have two other people here for a reason. <laughs> yeah, we're watching. Has that happened? <laughs> this quap's actually doing a really good job of getting levels. This quap's level 4, Warlock's 1, and he's trying to trade hits with her. Life's Lou CSing slightly better with six more last hits. The low advantage goes to Gyro. They're gonna get a tower first and bottom with CP so. Best she can do is just throw out a dagger and hope not to get stun locked. <sighs> I mean, they're not getting kills top, so it really, really helped that there could be some rotation bottom to oh, stop this tower. The bottom is in the nigh range, but. There's a root. Yeah. Meanwhile, the bottom tower fell off, no one caught that. No deny attempt. Quap was just too yeah. afraid of getting stunned. So, the net worth is still even with the nakes, surprisingly. 
even after the tower. There's a, there's a 2,000 lead in experience, though, in favor of Mag OP. Gold's even, though. Yeah. to the, use a defensive cog stop. He's completely out of mana up here. I was just so, about to say something Druid surprising would... to see though is Druid has 15 or more last hits than the OD. Yeah. And once Clock gets 6, I really want to see him come towards mid, because it's such an easy setup with an Astral Imprisonment. Basically a free kill. Probably gonna see an engagement top. It's going in anyway. They might, they might catch out with the it Dazzle. Looks like they're gonna ca catch Dazzle here, maybe? Yeah, Dazzle's in really bad position, and that's that. What? Oh no, Ooh, he missed that's... the Cogs! Still a kill, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Mago P just manned him to his fate there. Gyro? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, there's Quap there to back him up. And DW have committed their forces in full top. Looking for blood. <sighs> the only bit of vision on the maps is one lone ward up top. It's just completely dark elsewhere. And that's not really what you want when you've got a quaff and a shadow demon on the other team. <sighs> oh. They might get a kill on... Yeah, once the druid gets ult form, it's really hard to take him down. Oh, there's a root. An, oh. oh, he probably could have killed him if he had returned the bear. Back. Yeah. Three, one, six. <laughs> one ahead of Merlini. Strat pause, well, most it's likely. <laughs> He's kind of contemplating life in that prison there. Let's see. Gyro and Nakes are still neck to neck in last hits. They're literally even. And wow, there's actually a two level difference though, and that must just be kills roaming. Well, Gyro died mid. Remember that. 
And he also took time to rotate rotate Ned. So Yeah, one death versus none. Yeah. Meanwhile I guess when he respawned his the gold for minute came higher. Yeah. Maybe Nakes, he flag cannon the wave and went to jump or something. Literally Nakes hasn't been doing anything but last hitting up here. They haven't really been fighting, they haven't been ganking, they've just been farming. He's almost done with his drums. But he's two levels behind the gyro. Yeah, honestly, I don't think the Robin Shakira and Warlock's really been panning out so far. Like, it's... Exactly, I just don't think it's a good plan. Their OD is still dying despite them being there. Clock this is gonna might die. be a mistake. They might be able to catch him, but there's a grave. Oh. That is a not bad engagement. That's just not. It looks like Jack's gonna drop. Oh goodness! Two, two for five. And Warlock's gonna probably die here. Nope. No, she doesn't have the mana to keep going. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, but they took their entire team. Minus but the meanwhile, Nakes is just farming up top while Gyro had to come and help. <laughs> Snakes basically is the dire saving grace, though. He's really far behind in levels, though. So. He got a solo kill on the level 11 druid. Their little golem is dying. A little bit of action top, but which I was just gonna back off. I think Druid's gonna go for Maelstrom instead of the Radiance. It's like Quap is going for Judging. something on. Yep. Dyer's top tower. He knows it. Oh. Can we get healed up by Warlock? Oh, oh wow. this is the hook. I barely missed <laughs> that, the hook shot. That probably could have been a kill with lucky battery assault procs. Yeah, it it would have been close. Oh! But looks like Nakes is gonna die to Rocket. Yeah. Was Rage? He could have raged. Looks like we might see a team fight. And the Dire floods in as well. I hit the clockwork button, that's about it. Without follow up, that's just wasted mana. I think this is a support clop because he has mana boots on him. Think so? Well, I think it's just a symptom of her being in solo off lane. She's not snowballing hard enough to really run around right clicking people, so she's relying more on just being a nuker. <laughs> I 
That would be interesting, to say the least. Well, nobody's really building towards it yet. <laughs> Let's draft that. Let's do that sometime. I just want to see it. This outworld isn't having as big of an impact as I thought he would on this game. Well, he's an oops, so that's probably the first thing. <laughs> they don't have the oops factor. Clockwork just TP'd up top. Might be looking to engage a fight up here. It's gonna be tough because they have a lot of ways to disrupt this. Literally. Oh, and that's. Oh, he misses the cocks again. We, we've all done that. You're very cogs cute to go off as soon as you land. Incoming. Radiance Middle Tower is under it. I've cogs my whole You ever cogs your whole team before? I have <laughs> all, f all five? Uh, like three or four of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's looks like they're gonna so whiff. That was a really big waste. They just... The entirety of the damage and the stun just didn't happen. Quap is gonna pick up a haste rune. Guess they might look to push mid then. Get the golem up. The golem's down, we gotta make use of it. Oh. That brings the OD really low. Well. They're not gonna be able to they get push switch. this. Yeah, I don't know why they want to just kill the bear here for get the Get the bear. Dude. Yeah, OD's staying in, but he's got a full team <laughs> just sitting there on top of him. Oh! There's oh, nice hook from Clockwork. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just what the radiant needs, just to capitalize on little positioning mistakes by the dire Radiance pick offs. Why is this so bloody difficult? Oh, the cast is so good. <laughs> it's just. Oh. <sighs> Literally, those casters were excited over everything that happened. <laughs> Daivu. I said it way too late watching that stuff. Did you get to see any of the commercials? Oh! Clockwork engage. Nope. They don't have a Warlock ult though with the Dire they're comes to defend, they're not going to be able to. Yeah, Druid's dead weight. Dazzle down. Actually, OD might. The problem with early was the Radiants are a very level dependent team. They all they need a few key abilities to come up, get some levels in them, and now they're really showing their strength in the team fights.
This cloth is not afraid to just sling out those ults whenever she feels like it. To scare them off. Maelstrom up on the bear. Interesting. I'm surprised with the impact and lean he had, he didn't go with like a radiance. I guess he did die like twice already, so I guess he was yeah. falling behind. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be missing that split push without that radiance. Ran into clock there. <sighs> He's just gonna be able to man mate mode his way straight through these fights now between that and dazzle heals, disruptions. He's gonna have a blast. Yeah, if. It's the worst thing in the world as a clockwork to cogs and nakes and then realize what you have done to yourself. You just die. With the armlet, though, he's gonna tear through Warlock and Jekiro. And <laughs> just gets insta killed by the Shadow Demon. I'm gonna call that a bit of a waste. No follow up, just free gold to the Shadow Demon and a bit of damage to heal. Yeah, yeah the Shadow Demon remembered. Oh, wait, I have a button for that. The Radiant's gonna have a tough time dealing with the Nakes, so they don't really have like a Bane or. A... Untangle or something on their team to deal with it. Nope. That is one dead dazzle. Hey, get some some intelligence. Ten damage. Good dude's bottom just fell off. It's a DD on the OD, so they might. Push this tier two on top. And there's a vanguard on the clockwork, which yeah it makes sense against the nakes, the bear, but not my favorite thing. DW can't take this fight, I don't think. They're, they don't have the Warlock ult, they don't have no. Sandy's clips. What I'd re This Warlock might die bottom if he gets a lucky boot. Yep. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to... Oh. This might be a... Might be a... Oh, okay. <laughs> On the bear. They got the bear. Hey, that's no joke though, that's 300 gold for the kill. Yeah. Look at that thing's... Yeah, it's tanky as hell, luckily, but... Looks like Lone Druid's building towards uh, Mjolnir next. It's picked up a Hyperstone on the bear. Well, that could be an AC. Mm-hmm. 
DW should really group up and push towers with their ults up because they can't do anything about an Ake's late game. Yeah. He's just gonna tear through <laughs> all of their squishy heroes. BKB is done. BKB is done on the gyro. It's flying out on the crate. And as well, they got a smoke, so maybe they'll go through their jungle. Enemy jungle. Shadow Demon's got the beginning of a mech and a sash. So, Mag's getting up all these crucial teamfight items. I'm gonna wither the storm. Smoke. Oh man. That's gyro work. It almost looked like Jaro didn't notice. He was popping out to farm creeps. Oh, Jakiro. Oh. That's gonna be a dead vessel. Flat cannon completely tore through. Oh, what's yeah? That's the dazzle versus. Or not flat cannon, but rocket barrage. The booming one. Three point three k on the life stealer. Wow, that can colder. If he does that, yeah, he's gonna get a basher first. Take a look at the gold graph. They warded their his ancients. <laughs> they know what he's doing. I don't understand the double ward though. Well. Sentry's been there for a while, there's only a minute left on it. Mm. And it is an AC on Lundrid. And the Basher. Oh wow. They just got so much scarier in team fights. Yeah, he's gonna be able to hit Gyro through his BKB if he gets lucky Basher too. It's gonna Bash, completely tangle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Timing. That's imprisonment and an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. That's gotta be a little embarrassing. That's true. Yeah, yeah Macropire is only. Macropire is only a minute too. Like you can afford that kind of thing. The Eclipse. They're not gonna want a team fight for a little bit without that. The Mago Peach take advantage of this and just go down mid or bottom. Or they're gonna like, go for Rosh, that too. And they're gonna do a Rosh. That's all they've got is the offering. Radiant, do I know? Clock tried to hook the crop top, but missed. Looks like Radio might suspect, and now they know. There goes the rocket, but it's too late. They can't do anything. Yeah, they've. Oh, 
Oh, dude, what are you doing? Do we get an entangle with Ash? Quackers. He lives. Can I... Oh, and the cogs. <laughs> All these supports. Panic smoke. Dominating! Triple kill! <sighs> yeah, I think Radiant took way too long. They, they should have just grouped up and just team fight, team fight, team fight, team fight. Instead, they let Makes farm top, they let Lone Druid farm the jungle, and now they're paying for it. They've got items, and Radiant does not. Dire. Magopi also has a lot of things to counter in their teamfight ults from DW, like the Purge on the Golem, and then Rage through Sanity's Eclipse and Calldown. That's surprising, considering how she started out. They need that too, because honestly they're lacking in, well, any form of hard disable, really. They've got Poison Touch and Disruption, basically. Everything else is luck. I don't see mech finish dire side. Oh, looking bottom. It's a bit of rasp from Quap. Someone from Radiant shows their face. They're just gonna. Yep, there it goes. There's the hook. And the shell cream is gonna buy him a lot of time. Oh my god! Oh, the bezel. <laughs> they wasted so many spells. That just shows how good Dire is at just disrupting the Radiance to kill Zo. Because they used all those spells just to kill the Dazzle. And they still almost missed him. <laughs> yeah. He did get the Abyssal. There's a hook onto the bear. <laughs> and the bear starts killing him. <laughs> Make Spike go down here. Oh! Miss the cogs. Middle tower is under attack. Guys, 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 you need to defend here. Badges, middle tower, everyone. 
They got really caught out of position in the jungle there. The Nakes just got bombed with the golem and gyro. They were able to get him down pretty well. It's a really disorganized team fight all around. It seemed like Dyer didn't quite know whether they wanted to go in or not. I can't read that thing. How many minutes is that? Dark light. Yeah, it's four minutes left. Ooh. So, whoever gets hit by the bear isn't going to be going anywhere anytime soon. The best thing is double bash your one on your hero and then one on your bear. That's, what we That's call always fun. Machine. So you have a 50 50 chance of entangling or well, bashing, and then you have entangle on top of it. Dazzle is being very brave. It twelve? Yeah. It was fifteen. Oh, it's this twelve. It's so low. Oh. It's... I thought it was fifteen. It's basically like Christmas on qual on clock once you get your eggs. Yeah, still, it's, it's still like 4,000 gold item, just increase the cooldown. Yeah, they don't know the time. No, they don't know, but... Uh, leading with Dazzle. Oh, I thought so anyway. <laughs> Who did the clock just? <laughs> the clock got the nakes. What the heck? <laughs> Over there. Oh. Dude, that's all the excitement. So, so the clockwork mi mi missed everyone in this area over here. Like everyone was here, and he just hit a straight hook all the way through, like there. <laughs> That's a bad picture, but you know. Structures are fortified. Dark light. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Uh, yo, good guys, middle tower got home. What you gonna do? Get mad or get even? Radiance middle barracks is pieces, Okay, that really is GG. Good guys middle racks is in pieces. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Mm, this is good timing for Rosh. It's gonna be up in 20 seconds or so. They can just walk in while they're pushing out mid. <laughs> they don't know the rush time. <laughs> now it's up.
And the shallow grave. And now they come take Rush. Yeah, most of it. Yo, Greenness, something bad is happening. In your bo Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Hey, uh, someone check Roche. Maybe they're doing Roche. Wait, Dyer did Roche. Go, Clockwork, go, go. Eternity is one thing. <laughs> he has 7k gold. Rapier. Does it have mana cost? I think it does. Yeah, no. He'd have to... There's the flats. And the second basher is. Yes. <laughs> Top thing is about to get knocked over. He's been sitting at that gold for a long time now. And <laughs> the hook on the bear. A bit of a whiff on the quap ult. What's this? Oh. It was looking good for DW in the beginning, like they had Macropire and uh, like f f three heroes there, Ice Path on the Macropire. They got really low, but they weren't, they didn't have enough follow-up damage. And this tower is just gonna fall really quickly. There's the GG. Note to self, Banlone Druid and Nakes against Mago P. Whoa.
lot, a lot, a lot of gold. <laughs>